It's time to dive into a topic that's crucial yet often overlooked. Erections. They play a significant role in our lives, especially when it comes to reproduction. While much of the conversation centers on male erections, it's vital to recognize that females possess functional erectile tissue as well. So, how crucial is the female erection in the context of reproduction? Does it hold the same weight as its male counterpart? Or is it merely an added bonus? In this video, we are going to explore the fascinating world of erectile tissue in both males and females, revealing intriguing insights into their functions. If you're watching this video, comment great below to let us know you're excited to learn. Now, let's uncover the similarities and differences between male and female erectile tissues and how they contribute to reproductive health. As we delve deeper, it's fascinating to discover that the structures of erectile tissue in males and females share remarkable similarities. Both male and female erectile tissues develop from the same embryonic tissues, which leads us to an important concept, homologous structures. For instance, the testes and ovaries arise from similar origins, and when we examine erectile tissues, we find that the penis and clitoris are homologous as well. Let's take a closer look at the clitoris, a cylindrical mass of erectile tissue that plays a crucial role in female sexual function. It comprises various parts, including extensions known as the crura, which are situated alongside the pubic bones. During our exploration, we'll reference anatomical dissections to better understand these structures. The clitoris is not just a small external organ. It extends internally and is packed with sensory nerve endings that are essential for arousal and pleasure. This rich supply of nerves contributes to its functional importance in sexual health and performance, making it a significant component of female sexuality. Now, let's discuss how the initiation and maintenance of an erection occur. This process can be triggered through two main scenarios, tactile stimulation and brain stimulation. Tactile stimulation involves direct touch, which sends signals to the spinal cord and can initiate an erection even in individuals with spinal cord injuries. However, the brain also plays a vital role, particularly when it comes to arousal and pleasure. When we experience something visually or emotionally stimulating, the brain sends signals down to the genital area, enhancing the erection process. This interplay between tactile and brain stimulation is critical for achieving optimal sexual function. As we explore the physiological aspects of these responses, it's essential to recognize their implications for sexual health and performance. The clitoris, while not as externally pronounced as the penis, undergoes significant changes during arousal, including engorgement with blood, which enhances sensitivity and pleasure. With each aspect we uncover, it becomes clear that understanding female erectile tissue is just as crucial as understanding its male counterpart. This knowledge not only enhances our comprehension of reproductive anatomy, but also sheds light on the importance of sexual health in general. I believe you're enjoying this video. Before we continue, make sure you subscribe, like, and share this video. Comment, wonderful, if you're finding this information valuable. Moving on, let's explore how female climax can influence reproduction. Although not strictly necessary for fertilization, a woman's orgasm can significantly enhance the chances of conception. The contractions of the pelvic floor muscles during climax help propel sperm towards the uterus, creating a more favorable environment for fertilization. Additionally, hormonal changes during orgasm, such as the release of oxytocin, further facilitate this process by promoting uterine contractions, which can aid in the movement of sperm. This fascinating connection between sexual pleasure and reproductive success underscores the complexity of human sexuality. As we wrap up this segment, keep in mind that the interplay between sexual health and reproductive success is not just a biological phenomenon. It also has emotional and psychological dimensions. A fulfilling sexual experience can lead to stronger bonds and improved overall well-being making it essential to prioritize sexual health in our lives. Now, 
Let's delve deeper into the intricacies of erectile tissue and its impact on both male and female sexual performance. When we explore the structures involved in erections, it's fascinating to note that male and female erectile tissues are remarkably similar. Throughout this discussion, we'll refer to these as homologous structures, those that develop from the same embryonic tissue. For instance, just as the testes and ovaries originate from identical embryonic origins, the penis and clitoris share this relationship too. Now, let's focus on the clitoris, a critical component in understanding female erectile function. The clitoris is primarily a cylindrical mass of erectile tissue, composed of various parts that play essential roles in arousal and sensation. It arises from two leg-like extensions, known as the crura, positioned on either side of the pubic bones. In examining the anatomy, we can visualize the clitoris in a cadaver dissection from an inferior view. This perspective provides insight into its structure, especially after removing external genital elements like the labia. Here, we can see the crura extending from the pubic bone, coming together to form the body of the clitoris. The body of the clitoris is homologous with the shaft of the penis, which many might find surprising. It's crucial to understand that the only visible part of the clitoris is the tip, known as the glans clitoris, which is rich in sensory nerve endings, making it vital for sexual pleasure and arousal. Now, how does the initiation and maintenance of an erection occur? We'll approach this from two angles. The first involves tactile stimulation. Any touch to the glands or surrounding areas sends signals through nerves to the spinal cord. Specifically, this signal travels into the sacral portions of the spinal cord, prompting a reflex action that can initiate an erection without the brain's direct involvement. However, when both tactile sensation and brain stimulation occur together, they create a powerful response. Visual stimuli, thoughts, and even smells can trigger the brain to send signals down the spinal cord, enhancing the erection experience. This dual approach is where the magic happens, as it leads to the release of neurotransmitters and nitric oxide in the erectile tissue, facilitating blood flow and engorgement. Now, let's discuss how these physiological processes contribute to reproductive success and sexual health. The female erection, while not strictly necessary for fertilization, certainly enhances the experience and can facilitate reproduction in several ways. For instance, during sexual arousal, the pelvic floor muscles contract rhythmically, helping to propel sperm toward the uterus, a crucial aspect of conception. Additionally, the release of oxytocin during climax further assists in this process by promoting uterine contractions, making it easier for sperm to reach the egg. You might be wondering about the implications of these processes on sexual health and performance. Engaging in sexual activity that includes both partners experiencing climax can lead to increased intimacy and bonding, which are vital for a healthy sexual relationship. The interplay between male and female erectile tissue not only contributes to pleasure, but also enhances the likelihood of reproductive success. As we've explored, both male and female erectile tissues play vital roles in reproductive health each contributing uniquely to the process. Understanding these similarities and differences not only enhances our knowledge, but also fosters a more inclusive conversation about sexual health. If you found this video enlightening, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. Comment below to let us know your thoughts and what topics you'd like us to cover next. Thanks for watching.